Howdy ho, Mapleurs, and welcome to our 26th 250, the improvised 250. <laughs> it's Hayato. Now if you guys saw the Jet videos, you know, Jet, Jet was the plan all along coming into this dual 250 thing. <laughs> Hayato was more of an improvision. She just happened to have the gear at the right time to be my only real option to train publicly alongside Jet. <laughs> so, Hayato came much sooner than I'd originally planned her to, but we got through it, we got her done, and by golly, Hayato is crazy overpowered. <laughs> For the gear, this is our bog standard 250 gear. Nothing crazy about this, no no tricks up our sleeve, like moving our zeros gear. Nothing, just our average gear. A pretty decent cup, very nice. Everything else, pretty okay. Nothing too outlandishly strong. Pendant of Spirit always for the bonus EXP. We're actually using our normal hat because Hayato has only one skill which falls in the Goldilocks zone, so cooldown reduction really isn't all that helpful, so just take the raw stats where you can get it. It's pretty much ideal for your damage output as well. You don't really ever want cooldown reduction as a Hayato since instant slice isn't a huge part of your DPS for bossing, so just stick with stat for pretty much all of your lines on hat. And rocking 100% meso. Uh, Hayato's meso rates weren't actually all that bad, surprisingly. Like, that's pretty much my experience with Hayato in general. It's like, it wasn't all that bad entirely. It, it has some key parts that I really don't enjoy, but the class is pretty darn good. For your inner ability, boss 20%, meso 20%, whichever one you land on first, probably keep it while you're training. It's pretty darn good. Hayato is quite possibly my weakest 250 because <laughs> thanks to my brilliant plan to do Jet in secret, I had to improvise and do dailies for a whole new set of symbols. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sitting over here rocking 10 arcane force just to have enough to even train in most of these areas early on. Oh boy, it was, it was something else. Speaking of something else, the V Matrix. Boy howdy, let me tell ya. Fuck Hayato's V Matrix. Fuck everything about this V Matrix. Hayato needs an absolute overhaul for their V Matrix because this is disgustingly bad. <laughs> This is like this is the this is the kicker for Hayato for newer players. I would not recommend this class for a brand new player because unless you're okay with not having proper boost notes until like level 270, Hayato is not the way, dude. I dumped 3.5k boost nodes on, or not boost nodes, just node stones on this stupid character and I didn't even get two Trios! <laughs> That's how bad this is. Every job advancement for Hayato has like between two and three attack skills added on to their to their already existing kit from prior job advancements, and every single one of those stupid skills, even the ones that just buff previous versions, have boost nodes. So getting actual trios is like trying to find a diamond in a pile of shit. <laughs> it ain't fun. <laughs> it's not easy. I had to settle after 3.5k nodes. That's how stupid this is. But, ranting aside, into the skills, as always, right in that first spot, where it should be, on any class, don't matter who, except Bishop, it's decent holy symbol. It's pr by far the best decent skill. You should always have it. Bonus EXP, bonus drop rate, it's crazy. And then the skill that makes Hayato the most overpowered class in the game. Phantom Blade. Boy howdy, I never thought heroes would blush at the sight of a class inflating a damage range. Hayato one-ups hero about a hundred times with this dumb skill. 23% final damage per stack! Stacking up to five times. That's a stupid amount of final damage. 
<laughs> and it's not like this is a hard to maintain skill either. This is one of your main mobbing skills. When you're training, this is quite literally your main mobbing skill. When you're bossing, there's a little bit of issues keeping this up, but not entirely. Instant Slice and Falcon's Honor can maintain your, your energy well enough to keep this at 5 stacks all the time. It's super, super crazy good. Like, this is one of the few skills I would highly recommend maxing. Normally I only max my boost nodes on these 250s, but this skill is so dramatically overpowered, you should max this before your boost nodes. It's that crazy powerful. <laughs> and then for the next skill, you've got Instant Slice. This is another one of your bread and butter skills, this is your energy generator. It costs nothing to cast and it's on a 10 second cooldown. The hitbox on this is gargantuan, effectively your entire ski screen and then some, and it can cancel just about any animation. So it's super super handy for bossing. Then you have your ultimate will, God of Blades, also known as the Susano Summon. It's a lot less spectacular than the animation would lead you to believe. <laughs> like, it's not a bad skill by any stretch of the imagination. It's not a bad skill. It just, it attacks a lot slower than most summons in the game. Like, a lot slower. For as big as this hitbox is, you would think it'd be able to maintain, like, even a section of the map by itself. Yeah, that doesn't happen on Frenzied Spawn. <laughs> Maybe on Kishin spawn, it can maintain a side of the map to itself, but on Frenzied spawn, this thing can't hold its own. This is almost entirely just an additional damage source for bossing and an energy generator. Because once it's maxed out, when this skill ends, you get 800 energy back. This is one of your key ways of maintaining energy while, while training. So it's really handy for that. For mobbing, it's not that amazing of a boost to your EXP rates. It's definitely nice, but... The rest of Hayato's kit is more than overpowered enough that you're not going to be relying on this for, for damage or for mobbing. It's just going to be something there to supplement your energy generation. Speaking of energy generation, you've got your bossing burst skill. Zonko. By far the best sounding burst skill in the game. Like, I didn't think spread throw would be beat, but good lord. JMS put in work with the skill. Casting this and your Hitokiri 100 strike at the same time is such a deadly combo of like flashy cool animations and an amazing sound effect. Bursting as a Hayato is an absolute joy. Not to mention for mobbing, this skill gives you 700 energy just for using it. You're completely invincible during the cast. The only downside, you are locked in place for this entire animation. You can sort of break yourself out of the animation by using instant slice, but you can't move. All you can do is just start attacking. I don't know if there's a way to cancel this completely so you can start moving and bossing instantly, but you can honestly just use this and then follow it up with instant slice and then spam phantom blades until you're able to freely move again and the damage is pretty darn good. Not to mention free energy while mobbing completely works with everything else. Hayato has absolutely no energy problems at all. The only way you're gonna have energy problems is if you're intentionally misusing your kit. Like, the only way you run out of energy on a Hayato is by spamming AoEs. Even with Frenzied Spawn, you're not gonna be running out of energy on this class. Exponentially so for Kishin Spawn or lower, you're not going to have energy problems. <laughs> it's got so much energy generation. And we'll skip over Decent Sharp Eyes for the boost nodes. Okay, so... Ideally, this is a trio you want to get. But as I said at the start, fuck Hayato's V Matrix. You're not looking for trios. You're looking for the budget, tape it together, spit shine, and Elmer's glue boost nodes. If you get two skills and then a burner skill, you keep that. <laughs> because having even two good skills on the same node is better than looking for trios. You will save yourself countless billions of mesos buying nodes or just countless hours of node farming. But ideally, you want Rice and Ronzen and Rye Blade Flash. Those are your fourth job enhanced mobbing and bossing skill. 
Shinsoku is also something I'd recommend, but this really is only a skill you use when capping, and with the damage cap being raised to 150 bill, I don't know how good this is going to be going forward. If you're actually looking to main Hayato, I would highly recommend looking up Slade on YouTube. He's pretty much the strongest sh Hayato in the game, and he will more than likely let you guys know of any developments on Shade, or not Shade, <laughs> on Hayato's V Matrix going forward. I was copying his, his V Matrix, unbeknownst to me, the trios just weren't gonna happen. <laughs> So I tried my hardest to get trios, when you really, really shouldn't. But those, this is the only trio I was actually able to get. My second trio, I had to hard fucking settle. Like, my Hayato is permanently Vapor Nation fam. But, second one, it's not as important, but ideally you're looking for Falcon's Honor, Hitokiri 100 Strike, and Hitokiri Strike on your final trio. Of those, Falcon's Honor and Hitokiri 100 Strike are the important ones. Hitokiri Strike itself, you don't really use all that much. You're kind of only casting it for the small stone on bosses, the reposition, and the little buff it gives. You're not using it as a key damaging ability pretty much ever. So having it boosted is purely a luxury. Then you got all these other useless skills. Just cross your fingers and pray, dude. This view matrix is no fun to play with. Then, of course, decent sharp bias. Pretty much every class wants this. Crit rate, crit damage, all around good skill. Probably the second best decent skill there is. Sengoku Force. This is effectively an energy generator. It costs you nothing from your energy gauge to use, and every mob that these things kill gives you sword energy. Yet again, <laughs> solving the non-problem that is Hayato's energy. <laughs> It's also really, really good supplementing to your mobbing skills because as I'll talk about later in the mobbing sections, Hayato caps out its mobbing potential on Frenzied Spawn very, very early. So you need, you need skills like Sengoku Force to make up for additional mobbing you could be getting but you just literally can't comfortably. And then of course, Weapon Aura. I still like this skill. It 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 really improves Rice and Ronson's usability. Rice and Ronson on its own isn't a very good mobbing skill, but if you add on Weapon Aura's extended reach to it, it's not the worst thing in the universe. It's really helpful to have when you're doing loot cycles, and of course, it's just a free final damage buff. It's not much, but it's still something on top of your already crazy final damage buffs. Probably something you slap in later, not something you want to rush getting, but something that's very nice to have, and it does good supplemental damage to your bossing. You always want it. Of course, you've got True Arachnid Reflection, you get it for completing the Aspera storyline. Decent mobbing, decent bossing, slap it on when you get it. And character building one. Pretty much the best special EXP node there is for Reg Server because of Frenzied Spawn. You want it as soon as you can get it on there. Uh, decent speed infusion. You want it if you're using green pots. Other than that, don't need it. Erda Nova, you pretty much need it. Hayato doesn't have its own class bind, so you rock an Erda Nova with the rest of the bindless classes, but it's not that terrible. And then you've got Princess Sakano's Blessing. Pretty decent for the enhanced Maple Warrior type V skills. One of the better ones, but nothing super OP to write home about. Alrighty, for the mobbing. God, Hayato's mobbing early on is so crazy overpowered. It's actually super, super insane. But for 200 to 205, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Honestly, these aren't the greatest feeling maps, but again, as I always say, these levels take effectively no time to complete. You're gonna be into 205 into Reverse City before you even know it, so... For this, you absolutely want Phantom Blade on. You want to have, you want to ideally just have all of your attacking skills on, just like Decent Holy Symbol, Phantom Blade, Instant Slice, and then either Will of Gods or Zonko. I'd say Will of Gods, just because it's a placeable summon. But this is really the only area where you're actively using Rice and Ronzen as a mobbing skill. You're going to be using your AoEs more so to clear the top platform on the right side because you can't really reach it on your own. And then you just want to weave in your skills as you need them. If you did take 
the God of Blades, just drop him on the left. If you have a Lucid Soul, you can also drop her on the left. And conveniently enough, because final, dam because final damage buffs work on soul summons, Hayato is the only warrior in the game who has decent soul damage, thus furthering its superiority to every other warrior in the game. <laughs> But you're pretty much just flash jumping left and right, mobbing as you go. These levels go by super quick. This isn't something new or impressive. This is just average training for these levels. This is just an interlude before you get into reverse city for your real training methods. And then at 2.05 until 2.15, it's the hidden research train. It's pretty much always going to be the hidden research train. <laughs> Like, unless there's a map that actually can't train in the hidden research train, this is pretty much going to be the place to be. If you've got it, Lucid Soul on the left side. If not, you can drop your God of Blades on the side, and then you'll just be standing over here in the middle, and you just start cycling your AoEs. You just instant slice, wait for spawn, Falcon's Honor, wait for spawn, Phantom Blade, wait for spawn, Phantom Blade, wait for spawn, and here becomes the problem of Hayato. Hayato's ideal mobbing on Frenzy Spawn is literally just cooldown watching. You're just watching your cooldowns, waiting for them to come up so that you can cycle in your energy generators in between your energy consumer, which is Phantom Blade, so that you can maintain the most full map attack AoEs as possible. The unfortunate side effect of this being Hayato's mobbing potential caps out very, very quickly because there are only so many times you can cast these AoEs within an hour that your EXP rates are only going to go up as you improve your training location. There's, there's no comfortable way to interweave Rives and Ronzen into your AoEs without it being a detriment to your EXP. So besides your Lucid Soul supplementing your mobbing and your Sengoku forces supplementing your mobbing, your rates are very static. My kills per hour were within 500 mobs every single place I trained Hayato. They're super super consistent but that's also their biggest curse for mobbing. It's crazy overpowered, their damage is absolutely absurd, and their effort to get those rates is absolutely non-existent, but there is no comfortable way to improve these rates without getting super sweaty about your training rotations. And honestly, that ain't what I'm about. Like. I've got a lot of these 250s left to go, I'm not about to break my wrists over Hayato of all classes. <laughs> but for 215 until 230, it's the Hidden Milliard Field. And oh boy, if you want to see an extended version of how this training looks, I've got a video up on that on my YouTube about Hayato's energy problems, or lack thereof rather. This map is pretty cracked, not even kidding. This is absolutely absurd. You drop your God of Blades on the side, and then boy howdy you just start cycling your cooldowns facing left. When your God of Blades falls off cooldown it gets a little more awkward since you have to like attack left and right, but it's entirely maintainable. You'll never run out of energy unless you're accidentally missing skills, mistiming frenzied spawn, what have you. It's very very good. The effort isn't really that high, it's just cooldown watching. So unfortunately, as easy and as overpowered as it looks, you can't really watch things on the side. Unless you play Hayato an extensive amount and have the feel down for all of these cooldowns, like, to muscle memory, you're not gonna get a lot of, a lot of second monitor viewing while training this class, because you just gotta be constantly looking down here, checking your cooldowns, and sometimes even checking your energy if you're lapsing on cooldown watching trying to at least look away but that's an amazing place to get to 230 again your exp rates are going to be very consistent they're not going to be any better or any worse than any other hayato <laughs> there's really no rotations for this class besides just cycling cooldowns and maintaining your energy and that's one of the main reasons i really do not like hayato i like finding training rotations i like improving rotations 
I like finding the easiest rate like rotations with the least amount of effort and Hayato just has none of that. Hayato is just all cooldowns all the time. No ifs, no ands, no buts, just cooldowns. But once you're 230 or 225 if you want to get out of Hidden Illiard Field earlier, you've got LP1. And this is one of the maps where it starts to show that your kills per hour are never really going to increase because on Frenzied Spawn, you will not be full clearing the map. It'll look like you're full clearing the map, but you will not be clearing all the mobs on this map. <laughs> with Kishin Spawn, with Fury Totem, you can absolutely full clear maps. With Frenzied Spawn, nah fam, that ain't an option. <laughs> Unless you're super funded with your Lucid Soul, that ain't an option. But similar to the Hidden Illiard Field, Got a blades on one side, and then while it's up, you face one direction and just start cycling your cooldowns. If you want to, just go to the very far side, drop your Lucid Soul. Again, since final damage from Phantom Blade is a buff and not a passive or a toggle ability, it affects Lucid Soul damage, so Lucid is actually something you want to be remembering to use while training Hayato, unlike most warriors where it's just an afterthought. And then of course, even if you need a little bit of extra damage, you can move in Sudden Rain. It's not the greatest mobbing skill in the universe because of its long animation, but it does give you this handy dandy little buff here, so it'll give you some damage, and it's an energy generator as well. It costs nothing to use. It's on a fairly long cooldown, but the buff lasts longer than the cooldown itself, as long as you have a little bit of buff rate, buff duration, so it's overall pretty good. And then of course, you can just stay here until 250. If you do stay here until 250, like drop your will skill and your lucid soul on opposite sides of the map, because again, unlike other warriors, your Lucid Soul can actually do work on Hayato, so you want to give her a proper section of the map. Not too much of the map, because it's still Lucid Soul, she only hits 7 mobs at a time and she attacks fairly slow. But, you want to be maximizing the effectiveness of your Lucid Soul. And then of course, since you're attacking in two directions instead of just attacking in one, you're going to be burning through your energy quicker than normal, but that's okay because you've got oodles, canoodles, and cadoodles of energy generators. You pop that, boom, full energy and two key presses. <laughs> then you just keep spamming your AoEs. There's not really anything you can do to improve it. Like, you can get extra sweaty about the things and, like, figure out super fast rotations, mixing in your dashes, your slashes, and your flashes to get around the map, like, one nanosecond quicker than just attacking left and right. But on Frenzied Spawn, honestly, the effort just isn't worth it. <laughs> It really isn't. Your EXP rates for the lazy methods are pretty, pretty close to the maximum sweat rotations. So, you know, pick your poison. But for 235 until 240, I would highly recommend MTS3 tentatively. <laughs> Sounds odd, highly recommend tentatively. But as, as of now, this is a very, very popular botter map because of all of the... All of the Spanish Kanas that are flooding the game <laughs> to make money off of Meso. So this is a very highly populated area. Almost 24-7. These people seem to not sleep. It's just gonna be full all the time. <laughs> but for this, it's pretty much the same as LP1. You're just attacking left and right. The only problem with this map is it's extra tall. So you're gonna have to jump attack every now and again. But it's nothing too outrageous. You can just stay in LP1. The EXP difference is only about 4-5 to five build per hour. So you can really choose. If you like the feel of LP1, just stay there until 240. If you don't, hop over, get some get some Esfera droplets they're super handy and then you'll be 240 and you'll be into the end game for these 250 characters you're in Celis, and oh boy it's my favorite map in Celis. pd4 makes a triumphant return again it's super super good for hayato i honestly love how this feels on hayato because you don't have to attack left or right anymore you can literally just face one direction and start cycling your cooldowns for here, I'd honestly place Lucid Soul either on this platform or on the left one. It really doesn't matter which, but if you have your Will Skill and Lucid at the same time, place them on opposite platforms. Just improves their mobbing range. And then boy howdy, you just stand here, like just slightly right of this rope here. And then you just start cycling your cooldowns. Lead with some energy generators, toss in some phantom blades, burn through that energy, follow it up with a... Falcon's Honor, keep on generating energy, and by golly, you'll effectively never run out of energy in this map. 
you're again, you're never gonna full map clear, but the EXP rates are pretty cracked. Drop down your God of Blades on cooldown. Now what I would recommend for this is while God of Blades is up, do not use your Sengoku forces. Like, cycling God of Blades and Sengoku forces is about the only thing you can do to improve the EXP rates on this rotation. Because while God of Blades is up, he's killing some of the mobs that Sengoku forces would tag naturally. And since Sengoku forces are practically a mind of their own, they'll KS you a lot of the time. So you need to have as many mobs on the map possible for them to choose targets that you're not already going to clear. So you just want to be cycling the cooldowns. Not to mention they're both energy generators, so you don't want to be using them at the same time. Not like you're going to run out of energy on this map anyways. Even if you spam Phantom Blade like an absolute maniac, you're still going to end up energy positive within a few seconds of either of the skills being active. So it's pretty much just cycling cooldowns. There's no real way to get the EXP rates much higher. Uh, the other maps you can test out in Celis are PD-1 and SSS-1 if you're not a huge fan of PD-4. Both are fairly good, they're slightly worse rates, but PD-1 is less popular even than PD-4, and SSS-1 is exponentially easy. It's one of the laziest training methods, it's a CLP type map, so it's very easy to train on. Oh boy, Hayato. Huh. Like, I don't want to hate on this class too much because this is honestly the strongest class in the game at the moment. Like, leading in, leading into the release of Grandis, Hayato is the best class in the game. Like, in my eyes, there's no doubt about it. This class is absolutely cracked for damage. It's not even funny. And their bossing is super duper duper good. Not to mention, it's actually fairly fun. You have lots of mobility options as a Hayato, just between like Sweeping Blade, your Donkusen, your your Hitokiri Strike, and just Flash Jump, as well as Falcon's Dive and Falcon's... Or is it Whirlwind Blade? The one that pushes you, yeah, Whirlwind Cut, the one that pushes you into the air. You have a ton of mobility. You're like on a Ron and Blaster tier of mobility options for bossing. It's super, super fun to work with, but unfortunately, <laughs> unless you're in like super high-end bossing, a lot a lot of Hayato's bossing is just toggle into boss mode, hold down right blade flash, instant slice and falcon's honor on cooldown, pop those and your phantom blade at the same time for a quick burst of damage. It'll maintain your stacks of phantom blade for final damage and you get some energy on the side and then just repeat holding down rye blade flash. Like as much as I like this skill as an animation for a bossing skill, I think it looks slick as shit. <laughs> totally not biased, but it's not the most interactive for damage dealing. For your burst, it's quite literally just Zonko plus Hitokiri 100 strike. It's a lot of burst, but it's on a fairly long cooldown, like two minutes for Hitokiri. It's... Uh... If it didn't have the insane damage inflation and the insane damage percent, <laughs> Hayato might not be the best warrior overall, but right now it's so overinflated it makes heroes blush. <laughs> So it's it's pretty pretty head and shoulders above the competition when it comes to damage. It's very flashy, very mobile, very easy to survive with. Again, you've got tons of mobility options. You've got a way to sort of like mini stun the boss. You've got a full iframe with your burst skill. It's it's pretty pretty all around a good bosser. I have no real complaints about the bossing for Hayato. It's just, oh god, the little things about Hayato, dude. The V Matrix is the biggest problem with Hayato. They need they need to go through and absolutely rework Hayato's V Matrix. I don't even know how they would do it, honestly. Like, Hayato has so many goddamn skills, they would have to triple up every single boost node for this to not be a complete train wreck like it is currently. But they need to do something because this is about as user unfriendly a V-Matrix can possibly be. Like, every single variation of Senranzen has boost nodes. 
Rai versions, which is literally the same skill, but while in bossing mode, every single version of that has a boost node too. Literally, why? <laughs> there is no instance in this universe where you would be using fucking Foo Blade Slash, Timbuk, Two Blade Slash, Base Blade Slash. There's never a situation that these boost nodes would be useful. I don't know why they exist. If you just eliminated those alone, that's six possible skills gone from your tree of potential boost nodes. Oh, I, I hate everything about this V Matrix, and it is the biggest pain in the ass when creating a Hayato as like a potential main. It's, oh Jesus, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so absurdly bad. Minor problems with Hayato. They have a quote unquote memory leaking issue. It's not real memory leaking. It's just like, for whatever reason, Hayato doesn't dump temporary files while you're mobbing, unless you full refresh the character. So instant slice will just gray out the screen after like 45 minutes of training. People think that's memory leaking. It really isn't. All you have to do, go into the cash shop that fully resets everything. I've trained for up to eight hours on Hayato without DCing once. <laughs> So it absolutely works. It's not actual memory leak. It's just an annoying thing you have to do. If you like one hour battle analysis, Hayato ain't the class for you because those cease to exist when you're playing Hayato. It's kind of annoying. Uh, another problem, Phantom Blade just stops killing mobs. I don't know what triggers it. I don't know how it functions. Like, it's happened when people enter and leave my map, it's happened when I come out of the cash shop, it's happened when the, an elite boss dies. I don't know what triggers it, it's super annoying, you could say it's triggering? <laughs> but yeah, Phantom Blade will just stop dealing damage to mobs. Like, the skill will go off, energy will be taken from you, it'll hit the mobs, but it won't do damage to them. It's super, super annoying. You have to just sit there and wait out the cooldown on the buff, and then you can start using it again. Because you can't just right-click Phantom Blade. Oh no, that'd be that'd be way too convenient. You gotta sit there for 36 seconds and watch that thing tick down. Oh, it's Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of little things about Hayato that are annoying. They fix the they fix the summer rain DC. Like, you can cast this while moving, you can cancel the animation with instant slice, you're not really gonna DC unless you're already memory leaking for realsies. So there's no problem there, thank god. The biggest problem Hayato had prior, prior to the most recent patch was Summer Rain being just the biggest DC skill ever. So that's fixed, which is handy because Summer Rain's nice, it gives you a 15% damage buff. Ideally, newer players are gonna want to use this on cooldown. And having that DC them just for using a skill they want to be using is kind of shitty. Uh, Rice and Ronzin, it's, it's fucking bad, dude. Like, look at this animation. You'd think this would just be a normal hitbox, huh? Just a nice, nice big old rectangle. You'd be wrong. It's a fucking hook. <laughs> I don't know who decided that this entire animation is not a hitbox. Only the blue streak is a hitbox, and this little sword section are hitboxes. It's so infuriating doing Monster Park as a Hayato. If you flash jump, you're not gonna hit shit. <laughs> oh, there's, there's so many little things about Hayato that just like push my buttons constantly. I'll add on top of that, that it's just the only efficient, easy way to train Hayato is cooldown watching, which is by far and above my least favorite training method because, again, there are no rotations. You can't make the EXP rates better by doing something new and innovative because to do that, you'd have to put in like extra sweaty effort to get the EXP rates even marginally higher than just standing in place and going, Full map attack one, full map attack two, full map attack three. It's like it's the zero problem exponentially worse. <laughs> At least zero doesn't have cooldowns on their mobbing skill. Oh man. 
I'm ragging on Hayato, but that's it's entirely personal preference. I really don't like it. I really, really don't like Hayato. So we can mark this one off in the potential main list. Another neat little trick for people who don't like the up jump, you can use your basic attack to cancel it. An even faster way is to just use Sinsoku, which you can't use Shinsoku unless you're in your bossing mode, but if you have it on your keyboard, the game will still register you pressing it and it will cancel the up jump. I probably should have said this in the start of the video so more people would see it, but hey, a little reward for people who watched the end, right? <laughs> oh, but that's been Hayato. Our, our unplanned 250. Like originally, Kaiser was the plan leading after Jet, but, uh, Hayato just happened to have my warrior gear after Maplehood Watch. I'm glad it's done. I just really wish I didn't get to it this soon, because I hope in, like, the near future they fix this god-awful V-Matrix so other people don't have to waste as many nodes as I did, because I know for a fact 90% of players don't have access to as many nodes as I do, and oh god, it's bad. <laughs> But overall, the Hayato is a good class. It really, really is. Personally, I don't like its playstyle at all outside of its mobbing, but. Or outside of its bossing, rather. But other people do genuinely enjoy this class. Look at Slade. I'll link his YouTube down below as well because he is absolutely insane on Hayato. He's been maining this class for god knows how many years, and he's put in the years and the effort to make Hayato good. And now that Hayato is <laughs> pretty much the best class in the game, it's really cool to see what he can do with this class. His mechanics are on point, and he genuinely has fun with this class. So there are people out there who like, who will like Hayato. So I would recommend it as a class for new players, but I would have a massive caveat on it. I would not recommend it as a main for new players just yet. Maybe if they fix the B-Matrix, I'd bump it up to hardcore main status, but they'd have to do that first. Unless you really, really, really enjoy the playstyle of Hayato, and you're okay with not having your boost nodes for a very long time. Tentative to recommend it as an early main. Maybe establish yourself a little bit more, get yourself like 6 AK Legion, have a farmer established, do a bunch of events, pick up a ton of node stones along the way, and then you could transition over and main Hayato. But until they fix that V-Matrix, oh, 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 good luck. <laughs> oh, Lord. But that's Hayato. Do you guys have any questions about Hayato? About training Hayato? Bossing with Hayato? Or about playing Maple Story in general? About my grind for all classes 250? Do feel free to ask down in the comments below. I make it a point with all of these videos to answer any and all questions that I can because boy howdy I love this game. My grand plan is coming up roses. I started making these videos because a lot of these obscure classes didn't really have reliable sources of information about training, bossing, what have you. And I also did it for myself because I figured, hey, if I make shitty Maple Story content, maybe it'll inspire other people to make good quality content that I can watch. <laughs> and there's been a lot of new people popping out of the woodworks making some quality Maple Story content, so I think my grand plan's working out pretty solid. <laughs> But, that's been Hayato. I hope you liked this video. It's quite the long one. But, until the next one, happy mapling.